Hello. Um, <clears throat> today I saw Killers of the Flower Moon, um, which is directed by Martin Scorsese. Um, stars Leonardo DiCaprio, um, Robert De, Robert De Niro, uh, uh, Lily Gladstone, Jesse Plemons, and uh, a host of other people who are uh, fantastic in this. And um, don't really want to give spoilers, um, though I know this is based off of a book, but, you know, liberties and such uh, get taken. And so, in short, um, it's a very good film. It's a great film, um, honestly. Um, it's almost three and a half hours, but it doesn't feel like that. Um, and... Uh, yeah, it's, a, it's just an excellent film, you know, um, to give a gist of the uh, overall story is um, Osage, in Oklahoma, um, <clears throat> Native Americans, they have uh, oil, and so they're all rich, and there's, and there's a lot of, you know, white people and other such who, you know, want to get the money uh, one way or another and one way is for some of the men to marry some of the women and then uh, be married into the uh, <coughs> you know the wealth and uh, Ernest who's played by DiCaprio uh, meets and eventually marries Molly uh, Lily Gladstone and is a uh, Ernest's uncle, um, uh, uh, Will, uh, uh, Will Hale, whose middle name is King, and many people call him uh, King, <coughs> uh, is somebody who is very uh, popular in town, or where they all are, and, um, uh, Ernest was in World War I. Um, he was as a cook, um, but he saw a lot of grisly things. He uh, also has to, and he was, basically, as I say, his gut burst, and he had to wear a belt uh, to help him uh, with things, and he can't lift a lot of heavy, heavy things, so he arrives at the beginning of the film. He, <clears throat> his options of doing work is fairly limited um and so he was driving uh, like driving like a taxi basically and uh and uh molly is uh is like a, his first like a major customer that well at least that we see and uh as the as she, he drives her around quite a bit he eventually uh You know they get married and have kids and um, and um uh, in the midst of this you know there's a bunch of people who are being killed Native Americans and so um yeah I don't want to see say too much more even though from the trailers and everything it seems like uh, obviously like De Niro is you know uh, the bad guy and he is but you know I don't want to say more to potentially spoil the film for anybody who wants to see it um but yeah um a lot of killings going on uh blowing up uh, homes and people getting shot and you know even some investigators private eyes to investigate certain um things uh get killed and then the fbi has to get involved uh, Jesse Plemons plays an FBI agent, and the, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it's a big thing, it's a huge, uh, uh, huge plot, and there's so many well-known, uh, people in the film, like Brandon Fraser, he's a lawyer, as is, uh, uh, John Lithgow. He's also a lawyer. Um, 
but yeah everybody in this film is great uh the film itself is excellent again um um i don't know where i would put this for like favorite scorsese films i don't know um it could be in my top 10 perhaps but i don't you know i don't know um offhand it's a it's a very good film it's an excellent film um uh obviously it's in theaters now but uh it will come to streaming um i think next month but could be wrong uh, at least i believe that was the case like november is when it streams on apple um tv plus so if you have that you can then watch the film um for home video release i don't know uh if or when uh this film will be on like blu-ray and 4k blu-ray and all that um i would imagine it would because you know it's martin scorsese and i know that uh well netflix uh has a special deal with the uh, criterion hence uh why the Irishman got a release. Um, whether that will be the same, you know, I don't know. Uh, it is also released through Paramount, so I mean, if anything, they could definitely give that uh, this film a release on the off chance, like a like a, another uh, like a major uh, home video label does not take this. Doesn't have to be Criterion. Could be Arrow. Could be Shout Factory. Could be anything, you know. But of course, you know, I think Paramount would probably be the big uh, company to release it. But we'll have to see. I hope it gets a release because I think it would be uh, a great film for people to watch. Uh, this film, and and again, it is like three hours and twenty six minutes. Um, but it doesn't feel like that. It, this nearly like three and a half hour film goes by very fast. Similar to The Irishman. Or at least to me. <coughs> and sorry, I've uh, I've had a cold lately and um, I'm actually getting over it, thankfully. Um, I recorded another video that will... <coughs> be out Friday so you uh, get to hear me uh, sounding a little worse than this but hopefully uh, next month I'll sound better yeah I just wanted to um, <coughs> make this video uh, so uh, <coughs> my thoughts would be pretty fresh and so that I wouldn't have to wait like till November to, to release this because I'm like, you know, why not just make this video and <clears throat> release it Sunday? Why not? Uh, it's been a while since I've done um, <clears throat> something like that on a different day than just Friday, like this. So, yeah. <clears throat> Sorry for clearing my throat so much, but. Uh, I did cut out all the coughing, so that's a good thing. Um, yeah, that's uh, <clears throat> not much more for me to say. It's a great film. I would say more, um, but I don't want to, again, spoil the film for anybody who hasn't seen it because um, well, I haven't read the book, you know, while uh, <clears throat> the overall gist of the film obviously will be in the book, and books can be very more detailed. <clears throat> but the film is very well done, and it shows... <clears throat> shows enough of the big picture that you know what's going on, and, um... Yeah, it's, uh... I'm sure they have, uh, more, uh... <clears throat> details on certain 
some of the people involved <coughs> in this whole thing. So certain things were probably removed just so that the film's pacing and uh, the film itself will be better overall. Because um, some things, you know, might not be, you know, you could make it, put it into a film, but, you know, be it pacing-wise or just, uh, you know, the information <clears throat> in the film would probably be very, like, possibly overloading and maybe sort of repeating itself at times, uh, maybe. I don't know. Again, I haven't read the book, so I can't say anything um, regarding the adapta adaptation. Um, though uh, Scorsese did write this film, it's one of the rare films he has written because he doesn't usually write. He, you know, uh, there's very few films he has actually had a hand in writing the script for or story, so. There you go. There's a Scorsese co-written film. But yeah, um, that's all I have. So see the film if you are interested. It's very good, and I uh, hope you're all you will all be doing well. Again, pa uh, pardon for my voice as well as uh, <clears throat> certain moments where I had to clear my throat. But I did uh, get rid of the coughing parts because nobody needs to see or hear that. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well. hope you're all having a great day. And uh, your weekend, I hope that's been going well. And I hope you'll have a great week. See you all next time.